Hi, my name is Lauren and today I'm going to be going over Practical Skill Lab 4, um, which involves properly reconstituting a pediatric suspension for um, a patient. And then after I prepare the medication, I'll be having a consultation with the patient's guardian um, because it is a prescription prepared for a child. Um, you'll properly, you'll see me properly doing the, utilizing the aseptic hand washing technique and properly dispensing and formulating the Cthromax prescription. And I'll also be adding some orange flavoring. So without further ado, let's begin. So um, before I start, I have to make sure that the expiration date is um, so that the medication is obviously not expired. So if I look at the bottle over here, it says it expires in December 2023. And then when I refer over to the actual prescription form that was printed, um, it says that the original date was it was dispensed on December 14th, 2020. So then the beyond use date would be um, December 14th, 2021. So before I begin, I have to double check with the medication bottle. So it says that we would add 15 milliliters of water to this, which is my graduated cylinder I'll be using for this exercise. Um, but the catch is, is that there has to be 0 0.3 milliliters of orange flavoring. So in order to calculate how many drops you would need. So what I did was, we, I know that 0 0.1 milliliters equals two drops of, of the flavoring. So in order to get to 0 0.3 milliliters, you would multiply by three. So that would mean that you need six drops of orange flavoring. And then you would take the 0 0.3 and subtract it from the amount of water, which is 15. So in the end, you would actually be pouring into the graduated cylinder 14.7 milliliters of water with six drops of flavoring. So, so to give a brief overview of the prescription, so it is for um, Adele Wilson, and the prescription says that she has to take 400 milligrams, which is two teaspoons or 10 milliliters the first day. And then she would then take three quarters of a teaspoon full, which is 3.75 milliliters daily for four days. And if there's anything left over, um, you would have to discard any remaining um, medication that may be in the bottle. And then so um, what, what, I, what would then happen is that I would, once the guardian comes to pick up the prescription, I would supply them with this oral dose syringe. Um, and then if, as you can see, it goes up to five milliliters. So then what I would advise the guardian to do is they would fill up the syringe up to the five. And since day one, she has to take 10 milliliters, they would give it to her the first time, fill it up again to the five and do it again, um, for, only for day one. And then, um, and then after that, they would then fill it up for the following four days after up to 3.75. And um, and then as was as I previously stated, if there's anything left over in the bottle, it would be discarded. Um, so now we're go now I'm going to jump right into uh, my my proper hand washing, and then we're going to go and prepare this prescription for the patient. So I'll now be um, washing my hands. So I'm going to start by using a clean paper towel to turn it on. Making sure the water's warm. Put the soap on. Applying the soap in a circular motion. Nail brush. I'm going to turn off the sink with another clean piece of paper towel. No, just have to blot. 
And it's very important to never rub with the paper towel. To make sure all the, all the areas are clean in between the fingers, all around the palm, the wrist. And now my hands are all dry. And now I'm going to be putting on my gloves. Let's see. And now we're gonna go for the prescription. Now I'm gonna be pouring the water into the graduated cylinder. And then just, um, just a reminder that I will be pouring in 14.7 milliliters and I'll be adding in six drops of the orange flavoring, which six drops will translate to 0.3 milliliters to bring the uh, medication up to 15 milliliters. So I'm gonna pour in the liquid now. Water's poured, and now I'll be adding in my six drops of orange flavoring. So we're gonna count. One, two, three, four, five, and almost six. There we go. Should equal 15, and this is what it should look like. So now what you're gonna do is, so it says that when you prepare the bottle, you have to tap the bottle to loosen up the powder. So I'm just gonna give it a few love taps. Then let me double check. Okay, so now we're gonna add the water into the bottle. So after with this is poured, I'll move this over to the side. And then it says on the bottle that you have to shake it well. So give it a couple shakes. That should be good. And now I'm going to pour it back into the graduated cylinder. Let me double check. Okay. So we're gonna pour it back in. Show measurement and it's still 15 milliliters. I'm going to be adding the prescription back into the bottle. Okay. And now I will be adding these prescription labels here. So we're gonna place it, try to get a better grip, let's see. Put that over here. And now I'll be adding all these auxiliary labels 
and some of them say, like this one I'm applying right now, it says to shake well before using. Let's see. Place that up here. This one says that you can take it, it may be taken with or without food, but if you find that um, when you take on an empty stomach and you feel any kind of discomfort, uh, you can take it with crackers or with a small meal. And this says that you should not take this with um, any antacids or aluminum within two hours of taking the medication. And this says that during treatment, you may experience diarrhea, but if it persists or becomes severe, you should contact the, pa the doctor or the pharmacist. So now that, that that is all labeled, I'm going to take the second one and attach it to this one here. So we're going to place it on. So that's the prescription label. And now I'm going to take my pen and I'm going to initial the corner of the bottle. And now, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to properly dispense it to the patient's guardian uh, discussing what to do and how to properly um, how to properly use it. So I'll now be um, dispensing the medication to the parent or guardian of uh, Adele Wilson, and I'll be explaining how to properly use it and how to properly store it. So, hello parent or guardian of Adele Wilson. Um, I'm going to give you the prescription now and properly show you how to use it. So for, um, so this is the prescription, it is azithromycin. Uh, so what you're going to do is I'm giving you, I'm supplying you with the, uh, an oral dose syringe. So for the first day, what you want is you're going to have to give 10 milliliters to your daughter. So as you can see, the syringe goes up to five. So you're going to want to fill it up twice for the first day. And then from the every day after that for four days, you're gonna fill this syringe up to 3.75 milliliters. And then if there's anything remaining in the bottle, you it needs to be discarded. Um, for proper storage of this medication, it's important that you keep it at room temperature and it should not be anywhere near where there is any kind of excessive heat or cold um, and a medicine cabinet, like anywhere around the in the kitchen as long as it's not near the oven or the refrigerator and if and if you have any questions for me i'd be more than happy to answer them now